Unit 9, Lesson 3, Problem Set. Now we'll quickly run through what you do in the guided practice and the independent practice. In the first two questions, you're going to find any points of discontinuity for the rational functions. Decide if there's a whole or a vertical asymptote. Give the zeros in the oblique or horizontal asymptote, if any. So first of all, I will remind you that the vertical asymptotes come from there remaining a zero in the denominator. The holes or anything that cancel completely from the denominator, but they could remain in the top. The function zeros are those that were never in the bottom. So that those are either vertical asymptotes or holes, but the zeros are what remains and makes the top zero as long as it was never in the bottom. And then the horizontal asymptote or the oblique come by comparing the degrees of the top and the bottom. If the bottom degree is bigger, it's y equals 0. If they're the same, you're going to take the ratio of the coefficients. And if the top is bigger, you have to divide the numerator by the denominator to find out what that oblique asymptote is. The same is true for the second question. In the third and fourth questions, you're going to do the same thing, but then you're also going to sketch the graph. The first one is factored for you. The second one you will have to factor yourself. Remember to factor the bottom by grouping because there are four terms. Once you've figured out the asymptotes, the holes, the zeros, and the horizontal asymptote, you're going to sketch in your asymptotes. And then you will pick values and make a table of values on either side of your asymptote. In the first one, there's only one vertical asymptote. In the second one, there are two, and there are three sections. Then you're going to sketch in the function based on those points that you get. And finally, when you're done, go back and put any holes in the graph. In the independent practice, you will first have a page of questions in which you're asked just to identify the points of discontinuity, which are the vertical asymptotes and holes, the horizontal asymptotes and the zeros, or the oblique asymptote if there is one. Remember that the, the vertical asymptotes come from the denominator being zero, the holes come from what cancel completely from the denominator but was originally in the numerator. The zeros come in the numerator but was never in the denominator. And finally, the vertical or oblique asymptote comes by comparing the degree of the numerator with the degree of the denominator. And that will continue on. There are several, there are two pages of those because we need plenty of practice of finding asymptotes. And finally, you're going to sketch the graph of some of them. Remember that rational functions can really give you any kind of a graph, and some of them are very wild looking. Um, remember that you first are going to find the asymptotes and so on, just like you did for the previous questions, and then you're going to pick functions on either side of the vertical asymptotes, put in the values, and sketch your graph. In the first one, I will tell you there is one horizontal and one vertical asymptote. In the second one, there's one horizontal but two vertical. In the third one, there's one horizontal and one vertical. And finally, in the last one, there's one horizontal and then the one, sorry, no horizontal. There's one vertical and one oblique asymptote. Make sure you sketch those asymptotes in, and this will be a, a kind of graph that we've never seen before.